you're new, oh my god, welcome. And to my old subbies, absolutely love you. Thank you for being there. Really appreciate it. Keep it going. Today, I have a haul for you. It's, as usual, sustainable in nature. So, today guys, Oscar de la Renta is in the house. I mean, yeah. Oscar is in the house. <laughs> Seriously, guys, Oscar de la Renta is in the house, and I wasn't even aware of it. Actually, I have two Oscar de la Renta pieces in my closet. One was thrifted. tell you how the heck this got into my closet I also believe it was thrifted but I am not a hundred percent sure but knowing me it was or it was given to me but guys Oscar de la Renta is in the house recently realize that it is and I've been wearing this piece as a gown as just getting up in the mornings putting it over because it's it's freak it's skin pretty it's gorgeous I love the frilly details I love the kimono sleeve out to be a wrap dress and am I ever excited about this the reason why I am paying closer attention to this today is because of another piece that I've recently realized is not necessarily a nightgown it's actually a wrap dress in this stunning print and this gorgeous fabric that my mom had in her closet for ages I was always trying to wear that piece but we're gonna get to it pretty soon as mentioned Oscar is here it's a beautiful piece really really love it and this is a piece that as I've done in the past you could style with jeans as well as just wear it with a stunning over the knee boot this would actually pair beautifully with my Stuart Weitzman gray thigh high boot but unfortunately I don't have it with me at the moment so we'll make do with what we have and I'll style it up for you today
exciting times. Really love it. The only issue about this piece again comes to fabric. As I've mentioned to you guys in the past, high end as well as high street and all the other fast fashion stores, they are all guilty of making their items with polyester because polyester is cheap. It's everywhere and if you could get away with it, of course, companies would buy it. Oscar de la Renta has put his name to a polyester piece. As pretty as it is, trust me guys, if I have seen this, ouch, I got bitten by an ant. If I had seen this in the store brand new, I would definitely gravitate towards it. It's a stunning print, but at the same time, if I check the fabric and realize that it's polyester, it would be staying on the rack. Cause yeah, you guys know my ish with polyester. The worst. The worst. So, I'll style it, I'll wear it to death, but I would be the first one to tell you that if it's polyester, it's a no yes then. No, no, no. It's not entering my closet anymore. Sorry to interrupt guys, but just a quick note. Hi guys. If you just so happen to just click on my video, you are new, please click the red subscribe button. So here they are guys. If you click on these buttons, you'll be part of my channel and you'll be notified when I post new videos. And most importantly, guys, it's free. Thank you so much for subscribing. Love ya. Let's get back to the video. Give that motorcycle its moment and let it go by. While I savor this gorgeous piece here. Have you ever seen anything this stunning for a long time? I mean, anything that is not high-end? orgasmic I swear to God it's it's just stunning beautiful so my story with this piece is it belonged to my mom it's now officially mine she gave it to me she can't take that back and I found it amongst her hospital bag stuff she has a hospital bag that she packs with all of her <laughs> hospital gowns. It's where I found the other gowns. <laughs> Packed in a hospital bag for when she goes to the hospital because she wants to look very cute in the hospital. I don't blame her, I mean, fashion is in her vein. Damn, we all like to look good anywhere we go. So, this piece, guys, I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw it again because the story behind this is that when I was younger, even about 16 years old, I discovered this piece. I stumbled across it amongst my mom's stuff and I always wanted to wear it. She would not let me. I'm telling you, she's the kind of person that she likes to save stuff for a rainy day. This was for that rainy day. So she never let me wear it I thought it was just a beautiful piece that I wanted to wear. I didn't care what it was. It turned out to be not a dressing gown, but a wrap dress, guys. It's a wrap dress. It's just stunning. Oh, look at the sleeves. Oh my 
goodness, guys. I will try it on for you, wrinkled, because it's gonna really give me headache to get this iron. But if I'm able to iron it, I'll definitely style it for you. But you have to see this. It's beautiful. Again, not a thread of synthetic in this, no, it's a hundred percent cotton or a mix of linen and cotton, so it's a forever piece, and that is an understatement because it has practically been around for almost 50 years, guys. And it's still going strong. The only thing that it has is a bit of discoloration on the band and look at the band detail guys The only time I've come across another piece like this, and yes, it came from a fast fashion store. It's, it's my high-waisted favorite printed pants from Zara. It has a band exactly like this, and it's stunning and it was one of the reasons why I gravitated towards that particular piece. So this... Love it, love it, love, love it. The next piece I'll be sharing with you today, it's not necessarily a wrap dress, but it could be worn as a wrap dress. It's another piece I found from my mom to my mom's stuff. It's a beautiful printed kimono piece. It looks like a painting and that's what I love about it. It has a band but it's missing, I can't find it. Which absolutely makes sense because it has been around as long as that other piece right there, so. Yeah guys, another natural fiber piece that I would be styling with you today. Again, I'm sorry for the noise. It's a noisy street and I live next to it, so sorry. But really, really stunning piece and this again would pair beautifully with a thigh-high boot. But I'll do my best to style it for you today and make it look pretty.
guys as i've said before i am redefining what a haul is it's not coming from the fast fashion store all the times but yeah the goal is the goal is to look into your closet look into your friend's closet your siblings closet anywhere that you could find pieces they no longer wish to wear or they're going to donate or throw in the dump that's your treasure trove and guys i hope you are inspired by what i'm doing by what i'm sharing i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one remember always love yourself accept your perfect imperfections because they are what make you unique and drop dead gorgeous love you and i will see you soon